Today I'm going to be counting down eight new TV shows and movies coming out December 2022 that feature queer women in them. Jumping into the first one, which is technically November, but it was announced so late and it's the last day of November. So it's coming out November 30th. It is the formal. I swear the last time we all hung out. Now I've talked about this web series before. It is a web series and it was previously exclusive to TikTok and they were very short episodes. But for their last season, which is season four, they're releasing their full episodes on YouTube and their episodes are obviously going to be longer. So I am super excited for this because the web series on TikTok was just like one of my favorite web series of all time. It was probably like one of the best quality web series I'd seen and it was just so short and limited. So I'm really excited to see what they are able to do fleshing it out on YouTube. So uh, go check out their YouTube channel and, um, and have a look at their web series, The Formal. Diving into December 1, we've got two things coming out. First is a queer uh, Christmas movie. Love these. Happy Christmas. It's called Merry and Gay. High school sweethearts are overrated. I remember you having a very lovely high school romance. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Now it is releasing on a new sort of sapphic streaming service so it's it has a whole bunch of like uh tv shows and movies and maybe web series i'm not 100 percent sure and it's called diva box office tv this streaming service is releasing december 1st along with this movie so this movie is sort of it's like flagship thing that it's releasing with so i'm, I'm really excited to check out this new streaming service or, or website um, and see what they they bring us but I am also really excited for this movie. The synopsis is uh, Broadway star Becca comes home to her small town for Christmas. She starts to fall back in love with her high school sweetheart, Sam, with the help of their two meddling mums. Nobody likes meddling mums. Are you kidding? Everyone likes meddling mums. It's behind the creators that have made I Hate New Year's, uh, Christmas at the Ranch, Season of Love. They're all super cheesy um, and I love them so much. So I'm excited to check out Mary and Gay. Also releasing December 1st on Hate HBO Max, we've got Gossip Girl season two. War is never pretty, and it's only just begun. Now, Gossip Girl is sort of a, uh, I guess a sequel to the original Gossip Girl. It picks up eight years after the original one and follows a, a new group of high schoolers. I think I watched a couple episodes of this new series. I didn't really enjoy the first Gossip Girl and I didn't really get into this one, to be honest. I don't think Jesus would approve of that. You can tell Jesus that the bitch is back. One of the main characters is a lesbian. Uh, I believe her name is Monet. Same with things. I don't think she had a sort of significant love interest in the first season. Hopefully that changes season two. Maybe I might start watching it then. But if you guys are into uh, this sort of TV, season two is dropping December 1st. Coming out uh, December 7th on Netflix is a series called The Most Beautiful Flower. Now, The Most Beautiful Flower, the synopsis says, uh, curvy, curly, confident Mitch knows she's fabulous. Uh, now she just has to convince everyone else at her high school to believe it too. Love that. So from the trailer, I honestly wasn't expecting anything from it. And then boom, all of a sudden it's queer. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Cause like from the trailer, it's like, oh, okay. It's going to be one another show where, you know, the main character, she's just falling in love with all these guys. And, uh, it kind of gave me never have I ever feels, I feel like. But then one, another of her love interests is a girl, which uh, is exciting. So uh, yeah, the main character is gonna have a female love interest, which I'm really curious to check out. So I'm excited to see what this series brings. Um, and that is dropping uh, on Netflix, December 7th. Coming out December 8th is another series dropping on ITV. The series is called The Confessions of Franny Langton. Now, apparently this series is based on a book, which is also based on a true story. The synopsis for the show says it explores the beautiful and haunting tale about woman's, one woman's fight to tell her story. From what I can gather from the trailer, I guess she's um, accused of murder, this person. Um, and I guess she's, she's, you know, fighting to tell her innocence, maybe. Or maybe she's just going to tell the story of how she killed them. I don't know. <laughs> but there is queer. Apparently the que the main character is queer. There's like a really short snippet in the trailer of a kiss or an almost kiss. There's promo pics of 
of these two girls getting close. So I'm very curious about this show because it kind of gives me Lizzie Burden vibes. Bord Borden? Lizzie Borden? Lizzie Burden. I can't pronounce that. But that's also based on a true story. So it's not that. And also <laughs> potentially that is telling the story of how they actually killed them. But yeah, I digress. <laughs> I'm very curious to see this new series. So uh, yeah, check that one out, releasing December 8th uh, on ITV. Now coming out in December, I've kind of put a question mark from what I've heard, potentially December 16th, but I don't think this date is set in stone, but it's definitely coming out in December at some time, is Stupid Wife the Christmas series. Now from what I've heard, it's kind of like a Christmas episode, but it's five episodes, apparently and they're releasing weekly, which is super exciting. So for those that don't know, I have done reactions to the first season of Stupid Wife. It is a web series on YouTube. It is chaotic and, oh, you know, just exactly what you want in a web series. <laughs> it's based off a, a Cameron fan fiction, which is great. <laughs> and apparently this Christmas episodes air before the first season, so before, um, she loses her memory which is exciting so we get to see their relationship before that which is cool so yeah apparently the first episode is available i think on their website to purchase if you wanted to watch it early but i have been told that there's no english subtitles so if you're like me and need subtitles um you'll have to wait until it's released on youtube otherwise you can go purchase it early also releasing december 16th is a movie called the almond and the seahorse do not be nice to me i wouldn't dream of it this is releasing in theaters and on demand i believe on the same day and it follows these two women Women. I believe they are an archaeologist and an architect. Their partners have both suffered uh, traumatic brain injuries that leave them with some sort of like amnesia. I guess they forget about them on a regular basis. So it sort of follows them and how their partners are sort of dealing with, with that injury and, and how they're dealing and coping with life, right? And these two women uh, connect, I guess, on shared experiences and they build a connection. What I'm really curious about in this is one of the women is played by Rebel Wilson, which I love. I mean, she's hilarious. She's Aussie. She's just super fun. Has recently come out, not in a great way. She was forced out, which is the absolute worst, but she is queer in real life, which I was, you know, super excited to hear when the news did drop, obviously that excitement was dulled when I heard she was outed. But yeah, she does have a long-term partner and I don't know, I'm just really excited to play, uh, see her play a queer role. So yeah, I'm really excited to to check out this movie and, and see how, uh, I don't, I, yeah, I'm just kind of excited to see, see it play out. So yeah, like I said, The Almond and the Seahorse uh, releases December 16th. And releasing December 25th, is a Netflix series. I am not even going to attempt to say the name because I'm going to butcher it. But in English, it translates to Daughter from Another Mother. Now, I believe season three is airing on December 25th. Now, I have not watched the previous seasons. I believe I've seen like clips pop up on my YouTube of the queer couple in this show, but I haven't managed to get around to watching it. The synopsis for the show though reads, after realizing their babies were exchanged at birth, two women develop a plan to adjust their new lives, creating a single and particular family. Look, I'm not gonna lie, that synopsis makes the uh, show sound really interesting. <laughs> I really wanna check it out. So I Probably gonna have to do a binge of the first two seasons before season three drops on December 25th. But like I mentioned, I haven't watched it, so I'm not sure where the queer couple are standing at the end of season two. All I've seen is those videos with the thumbnail of two women kissing, but I don't know if it's ended or if it's still continuing on in season three, uh, but something to, to keep your eye on if you're interested. Now also continuing on in December from November, we have NCIS Hawaii, Station 19, Grey's Anatomy, The Sex Lives of College Girls, The L Word, Gen Q, Gap the Series, and Willow. That's it from me. If you guys know of any other movies or TV shows dropping in December, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.